Today on Rappler, the Aquino administration's ratings recover after a record low last quarter. The Philippine military puts pressure on the Abu Sayyaf after a deadly encounter. And terrorist group ISIS beheads a U.S. aid worker and 18 Syrians. Hello, I'm Paterno S. Michael. This is Rappler's Rap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. The Aquino administration satisfaction ratings recover in a social weather stations or SWS third quarter survey from a record low in the previous quarter. From what SWS calls a moderate plus 29 score in the previous quarter, the current government satisfaction rating rises to a quote good plus 35. SWS conducted the survey from September 26 to 29. 59% of respondents said they were satisfied with the government's general performance. The Philippine military continues to put pressure on local terrorist group Abu Sayyaf after a violent encounter Friday. Armed Forces Chief General Gregorio Katapang says the military is studying whether to send more forces to Sulu. Five soldiers and ten bandits were killed in a close-range encounter in Talipao. Terrorist group ISIS or Islamic State of Iraq and Syria released a video of the beheading of U.S. aid worker Peter Kassig Sunday. The video also showed the gruesome simultaneous beheadings of at least 18 Syrian military men. U.S. President Barack Obama condemns the act, calling it pure evil. Kassig was captured in Syria last year. The Tubataha Reef in Palawan and Mount Hamigitan in Davao Oriental make it to the ASEAN Heritage Parks list. Tubataha Reef has long been honored as the Serengeti of the sea because of the diversity of its marine life. Mount Hamigitan is home to flora and fauna including the critically endangered Philippine eagle and Philippine cockatoo. What does the AH-26 sign along Metro Manila's main road mean? AH stands for Asian Highway, a network of significant highway routes in 32 countries in Asia. AH-26 is the route number given to the 3,517-kilometer Philippine segment of the Asian Highway Network, the Maharlika Highway, which stretches from Lawag City in Locos Norte to Zamboanga City. The Asian Highway Network aims to improve existing road systems and promote trade and tourism. For the full stories, click on the links on your screen. And for those of you watching on mobile, the links can be found on the titles of the article. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter which gives you 8 emotions to choose from. Looking at the mood navigator, we find 10 stories. We have a few great stories on the mood navigator and the story that got the most number of votes today. Christine Reyes confirms she's pregnant, 5% annoyed, and 81% don't care. This story, along with other great stories on the mood navigator, brought out the mood of the day. Today, most people don't care. That is the wrap for today, Monday, November 17, 2014. Visit Rapper.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Tech Rap and Talk Thursday. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Paterno S. Makel. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.